Hello, everyone, and welcome to the session in which we will discuss inventory errors on income statement. Inventory is a balance sheet account. How does a balance sheet account such as inventory influence the income statement? Inventory could be overstated. Inventory could be understated. So we need to know how would that misstatement, how would that error affect the income statement through an account called cost of goods sold? Now, in this session, we are going to learn about cost of goods sold as well. So it's very important to know the formula for cost of goods sold and to understand how would an inventory error, whether it's an overstatement or an understatement of inventory, will influence cost of goods sold. Very important topic, whether you are a financial accounting student, intermediate accounting, CPA candidate, CMA candidate, very important concept. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Let's start by defining overstatement and understatement. And specifically, we're going to be working with ending inventory. What does it mean? We have an overstatement and ending inventory. It means ending inventory is reported higher than the actual. So actual, let's assume, is 10,000, 10 K and reported, you reported the inventory as 12 K. You overreported your inventory. You could also understate your ending inventory. Let's assume the actual is 10 K and you report the, the, you reported it at 8K, 8,000. Now you underreported your inventory. Now bear in mind, I'm going to repeat this at the end, that whatever happened to ending inventory, your ending inventory, if it's overstated, ending inventory for the following year, beginning inventory will be also overstated because inventory is a balance sheet account. So the error don't go away. The overstatement of ending inventory becomes an overstatement of ending inventory. Same true for understatement. If you understate your ending, you are also understating your beginning. And we'll discuss this shortly as we're working through the example. So I'm going to take you through detailed example step by step. But first, you want to make sure you are comfortable with the formula of cost of goods sold. How to compute cost of of goods sold. Well, we'll take beginning inventory and we add to it whatever we purchased during the year. Then we subtract our ending inventory and this is how we come up with cost of goods sold. And we're going to work a few examples. Overstatement of ending inventory. Let What does that mean? Since cost of goods sold is computed by subtracting ending inventory, an overstatement of ending inventory would result in a lower cost of goods sold. Let me show you a simple example. Beginning inventory is 100, purchases is 50, so so far we have 150. Now we're going to subtract ending inventory. If I subtracted $40 from ending inventory, my cost of goods sold is 110. If I say my ending inventory is not 40, my ending inventory, I, I, it's a mistake, it's 50, then my cost of goods sold becomes 100. So notice, I'm subtracting ending inventory. So any overstatement, any overstatement would result in a lower cost of goods sold, would result in a lower cost of goods sold. What does that mean? If I have a lower cost of goods sold, it means I have a higher profit. Higher profit means higher income. It means also higher taxes. We don't have to worry about taxes, but I want you to take this step further. If you reported higher profit, higher gross profit, higher profit, you're going to report higher taxes. Now, we could say the opposite is true. What does that mean? If I say, if my actual was 40 now, let me change this. If the actual was 40, if the actual was 40, 
and what I did now I reported my ending inventory I understated my ending inventory to 30 now 150 minus 30 equal to 120 my cost of goods sold went up is higher my cost of goods sold is higher what does that mean my profit and my gross profit are lower and my taxes are lower so make sure you understand this so if I want to summarize this what, what can I tell you here's the formula know it understand it memorize it first if you don't understand it until you understand it the relationship between ending inventory EI and cost of goods sold I'm gonna say it's a negative or an inverse what does that mean it means if you overstate if you over report ending inventory you are going to understate cost of goods sold and the opposite is true if ending inventory is understated it means cost of goods sold is overstated they have an inverse they work in the opposite direction the best way is to look at an example let's take a look at the scenario we have sales we have beginning inventory we have purchases we have ending inventory the correct amount is seven but we reported the inventory I'm sorry the correct amount is five but we reported ending inventory at seven so we overstated our ending inventory by two automatically once you know you overstated ending inventory it means we understated cost of goods sold by the same amount by 2k let's take a look let's compute the correct cost of goods sold beginning inventory 10,000 plus purchases of 30,000 minus the correct amount cost of goods sold the correct amount is 35 the gross profit is 50 minus 35 the correct gross profit is 15 so this is assuming we are using the correct numbers now cost of goods sold is 33,000 if we're reporting the wrong number if we're reporting ending inventory at 7 beginning inventory of 10 plus purchases minus the wrong ending inventory will will give us cost of goods sold of 33 which is lower than 35 how much it's lower by 2000 it means our profit is 50 minus 33 our profit is higher by 2000 our profit is 17,000 therefore the net effect is net income overstated by 2000 also our equity I did not mention this will be overstated by 2000 we have to pay more taxes I mentioned the taxes earlier let's look at scenario 2 here scenario 2 we're gonna assume it's uh, the correct is five but the ending inventory sh ending inventory is understated by two which is three thousand now again the correct amount is 35 as we computed earlier the correct profit is 15 now what's gonna happen if we take beginning inventory plus purchases minus the incorrect ending inventory our cost of goods sold is higher notice our cost of goods sold is higher because our ending inventory is lower it's the opposite effect now if it's higher we have lower profit rather than reporting 15 we report 13 now here's what I want to tell you too about 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 inventory errors if we made an let's assume this is year one and this is year two let's assume we made a mistake in year one and we overstated ending inventory by 2000 okay if we overstated ending inventory by 2000 the beginning inventory the following year I want you to know this will be also overstated by 2000 if we don't make any further mistakes so let's assume this was an error we made an error in year one and the error was overstating ending inventory that's going to transfer to year two to year two and overstate beginning inventory now we're going to discuss beginning inventory but i want you to be in this i want to plant the seed in your head that if no other errors happen the inventory error would correct itself so if if in if profit was understated in year one it will be overstated by the same amount or if was overstated in year one understated in year two they will cancel each other so inventory errors are self-correcting net income is understated by two thousand now let's take a look at the beginning inventory errors as I just mentioned ending inventory becomes the beginning inventory 
Now we need to understand this relationship. So the best way to illustrate this is through, is through an example. But before we proceed, let me summarize one more time. Ending inventory and cost of goods sold, it's a negative relationship. Keep that in mind. This is ending. Now we're talking about beginning inventory. I'm going to tell you right now, beginning inventory and cost of goods sold, they have a positive relationship. Don't worry, I'm going to explain this. It means if beginning inventory is overstated, cost of goods sold is overstated. If beginning inventory is understated, cost of goods sold is understated. We're going to illustrate this, but I want to show you this. We have a, two scenarios, scenario one, scenario two. Let's work with scenario one. In scenario one, we have beginning inventory overstated by 10. Now, automatically, if beginning inventory was overstated by 10, it means the prior year ending inventory was stated by 10. Just always know this because beginning inventory is last year ending inventory. We have sales, purchases, and ending inventory. Let's compute the correct, uh, and assuming the correct beginning inventory should have been 15. It should have been 15, but it's overstated by 10. So the beginning inventory is reported at 25, but it should only be 15. It's overstated. That's a huge amount. Any auditor should catch this, right? The correct computation. Beginning inventory, the correct number, plus purchases, the correct number, minus ending inventory, equal to 55. So the correct cost of goods sold should have been 55. The correct gross profit should have been 45. 100 minus 55. The overstated calculation, cost of goods sold, it's beginning inventory. This is the error, 25, plus purchases minus ending. Notice here, cost of goods sold becomes 65. Why? Because beginning inventory was overstated. What happened to cost of goods sold? Was overstated by the same amount. It went from 55 to 65. Now, obviously, the profit, since we have more cost of goods sold, the profit goes from 45 to 35. So net income is understated by 10,000. Net income is understated by 10,000. Why? Because the beginning inventory, because beginning inventory is overstated, beginning inventory is overstated, it means cost of goods sold is overstated. It means profit is understated. It means equity is understated. It means taxes are underreported. Now let's work scenario two. Now we understated beginning inventory. So if beginning inventory is understated, cost of goods sold is understated. It means profit is overstated. It means equity is overstated. It means the amount of taxes we pay, we have to pay more. Let's take a look at it. The correct beginning inventory is 15. We reported this as 10. Uh, we understated beginning inventory understated beginning inventory of 5,000, okay? Because it's supposed to be 15. We understated by five, we reported it at 10. So let's compute the correct cost of goods sold. The beginning correct plus the purchases minus ending. The correct cost of goods sold is 55. The correct profit is 45, 100 minus 55. The understated calculation will take 5,000, which is the understated beginning inventory, the wrong one, plus uh, plus purchases minus ending will give us cost of goods sold of 45. Notice beginning is down, cost of goods sold is down. It means profit is up because cost of goods sold is down. Profit becomes 55 rather than the correct profit 45. It means net income is overstated by how much? 10,000. 55 minus 45. Let's summarize beginning inventory errors, which is we did, but let's do it one more time. Again, the reason I emphasize this, because if you know this inside out, how inventory error affect income, it's going to make your life much, much easier down the road. So overstated beginning inventory, increased cost of goods sold. Remember, beginning inventory and cost of goods sold, they work the same way. If one goes up, the other one goes up. If one goes down, the other one goes down. Results and a lower gross profit and net income if it's a beginning inventory is overreported. So the scenario here, a beginning inventory overreported, cost of goods sold overreported, profit is lower. It means income and profit is lower. Net income is understated by the amount of the overstatement. 
if beginning inventory is understated so beginning inventory is understated cost of goods sold is understated it means profit is higher you guessed it decreased cost of goods sold result in a higher profit and net income net income is overstated by the amount of the understatement now having said so the, the opposite is true for ending inventory so if I'm dealing with ending inventory so you have to be very careful and a multiple choice and a homework on the exam at your work who which one is am I which one is understated overstated are am I dealing with ending or beginning because when it comes to ending inventory I'm gonna change colors here because I want to emphasize it's ending ending inventory and cost of goods sold they work the opposite way when one goes up the other goes down when one goes down the other one goes up they're the opposite versus beginning inventory and cost of goods sold they have a positive relationship this they work in the same direction ending inventory and cost of goods sold work in the opposite direction and I suggest you focus on ending inventory and cost of goods sold why because for one thing they're the opposite of each other that's one two ending inventory becomes be ending inventory becomes beginning inventory and remember if no other errors happen in the following year the exact error would reverse itself and correct itself so inventory are self-correcting as long as we don't make any additional errors in year two in other words as long as beginning inventory the only error it will self-correct what should you do now you want to go to Farhat lectures look at additional MCQs additional resources exercises true false that's gonna help you whether you are an accounting student a CPA candidate CMA candidate a college students invest in yourself good luck Farhat lectures is always here to help and stay safe